Kurukale is a long folk song. Not only with its air, water, nuts, berries and fruit fed by the Kuzuromak River, but most importantly with its warm people, Kurukale is nature's capital. Some of the archaeological remains found during research and investigations carried out on some of the historical remains, ruins and mounds located within Kurukale borders are traced back to the years BC, showing us how long ago Kurukale was first inhabited. Kurukale, which initiated an entrance into the arms industry prior to the forming of the Republic, played an important part during the War of Independence, gained official authorization for its weapons and ammunitions factory after the Republic was declared. By accepting migrants from all four corners of Turkey, this development meant that Kurukale grew quickly over a short period and continued to expand as a junction point in the heart of Turkey. There is also a museum in the city that reflects Kurukale's story. Specimens of weapons used during the Ottoman period and produced throughout the history of the Republic are exhibited in the museum. Kurukale has opened its arms to the tombs of Hasan Dede, Koju Baba as well as many of our values. As well as architectural and historical treasures, it has safeguarded cultural treasures in its heart. One should not leave Kurukale without seeing the Chesnia Bridge built by Sinan the architect for Yava's Sultan Selim Khan. Stopping by the 15th century Sheikh Shamil Mosque and tomb and visiting the Koju Baba tomb which Evliya Chelebi refers to in her travel book as This father is highly regarded in Turkmen Highlands. The pre-republic examples of wooden architecture invite you with all their splendour. The harmonious meeting of stone with greenery is enchanting. Kara Ahmed the Nature Park, located on the shores of Kapulukaya Dam, is one of the centres that presents diverse and brand new displays of beauty at every step to its visitors. Jalal Bayar Park is another significant centre of attraction for Kurukale due to its proximity to the city centre. Like the surrounding towns and villages, life in the city is calm and tranquil. You can browse the small book stands and those selling miniature souvenirs and easily get caught up in this city's peaceful harmony. The people of Kurukale embody all the beauty and hospitality of Anatolia. You are welcomed with friendly smiles. You can be invited in as you pass in front of a door and taste delicious local dishes. Kurukale is a thousand and one tons of green with its crops, yellow with its ear of grain 
Music is the melody of this land. The cultural heritage of music of the Keskin district is especially by the poet and folk musician known as Abdals. Seyed Chevik is one of the most important heirs of this Abdal culture. He has contributed countless works to folk music with this violin. In this city, you don't need an instrument for music. A spoon is enough to bring cheer. Even the shepherd herds sheep with rhythm. The youngsters practice in the heat of the plains. Kurukale is a long folk song. Kurukale is a city which possesses its own sound and colour, with its own calmness and serenity. In a small store, you can eat, drink the heavenly aromatic tea shoulder to shoulder with the locals who live here, be a child along with the children, and comfortably feel yourself as a part of this city. Nobody makes you feel like an outsider in Kurukale. Beautiful music, impressive photo frames, thousands of years of historical traces. But most importantly, the good-hearted Anatolian people await to greet you in this city.